we are back with more Genshin Impact, and Charlotte Scoop is right over there, so let's go uh, catch up with her. Charlotte! What happened? You just disappeared without saying anything! Oh, I just didn't want to bother you while you were catching up with your friend. I could churn out that kind of soft news piece in five minutes if I had to. Personally, I'm more interested in those two. From the moment things kicked off, they've been acting very strangely, like they're trying to stay out of sight. I'm sure they must be plotting something. Hmm? Oh, you mean there are two card snatchers? Shh! Keep your voice down! We don't want to scare them off. We need to wait until we've got something concrete. Then we can use my camera to catch them in the act. Huh? You, wait, where'd the other guy go? He's on the run! After him! Huh? You seem like you've done this before. Do you spy on people often? <laughs> oh, you're too kind. You should see the celebrities in Fontaine, the lengths they'll go to to try and avoid the public eye. Compared to that, this is nothing. That wasn't supposed to be a compliment. He's heading toward Mondstadt's side gate. Let's follow him, but quietly. We mustn't let him spot us. Like he stopped. Let's sit tight and see what happens. Why did he come all the way out here? Is he gonna hide something? And now he's crouching down with his hands above his head. Oh, <gasps> wait! Treasure orders! He's in trouble! Quick! We need to rescue him! Help! Someone save me! What are the treasure orders doing so close to the city? Suffer! Busted! Rack and ruin! The wrong test subject. Are you alright? Oh, 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 thank goodness. <laughs> I thought it was all over for me. Those treasure hoarders, did you know them? It sure looked like they were here just for you. Why would I know them? Uh, I was just, uh, out for a walk, minding my own business, and then the next thing I knew, I was surrounded. Oh, really? Then why did they target you? It wouldn't be because of some dubious deal you were involved in at the tournament, would it? Huh? A deal? I, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's a shame. You see, I'm a journalist, and I just happened to snap a picture of you and one other individual in the middle of a deal back at the tournament. I was only going to ask you for an interview, but that was before you caused all this trouble. And now you're feigning ignorance of the deal in question. Hmm, maybe I'm just wasting my time. Shall I just cut my losses and hand over the evidence to the Knights of Favonius? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, please. I, 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 I'll talk. But you gotta believe me. There's nothing shady going on, I swear. Wow. That was some serious bluffing on Charlotte's part. She didn't take any pictures at all. Back at the tournament, I, I was approached by some random guy who said that he wanted to buy a card back off me. I said, okay, how much are you offering? And when he told me the amount, well, my jaw practically hit the floor. Really? What kind of card back was it? Uh, nothing special. I, I just picked it up at the general goods store. Uh, it, it had a treasure chest design on it. I only bought it because it was dirt cheap. This guy offered me three times what I paid for it and handed me the mora right then and there. I could hardly believe my luck, so I, uh, I decided to head somewhere less crowded and check the mora was real. That's when I ran into the treasure hoarders. Did you ask him why he wanted to purchase this item from you? No, I didn't. Genius Invocation TCG has been getting pretty popular lately, and some people will pay good mora to make their decks look flashy. It didn't strike me as that unusual. But after I gave him the card back, he let out a sigh of relief and said something about, uh, that's all the monstat ones. Next stop, Liyue, or something like that. Or something like that? He either said that or he didn't. How certain are you? I'm positive. I, I know what I heard. Once the card was in his hands, he suddenly relaxed like a huge burden had been taken off his shoulders. It was genuine relief. Could, could that card back really be as valuable as he thought? That I don't know. But in the interests of your personal safety, I suggest you report all of this to the Knights of Favonius. After all, you weren't doing anything against the law, were you? Uh, right, yeah, no, that makes sense. I'll go speak to the Knights of Favonius right away. It sounds like that guy's just collecting rare card bags. Are you sure this is the person you're after, Charlotte? Well, it definitely doesn't add up. You really think someone out there is going from nation to nation, shelling out huge sums of money for a few card bags bought from a grocery store? My gut tells me that there's more to this story than the card back alone. <laughs> this entire situation reeks of exclusive news! Let's see. Maybe it was designed by a famous artist. That wouldn't explain how he got it for cheap. So there must be real treasure, and that's why the treasure hoarders are like... Oh, is it pieces of a treasure map? Disguised as card backs. Ooh, treasure! Maybe the card backs make a treasure map! You know, collect all the pieces, put them together, and they reveal where the treasure is buried! Who knows? But wherever this leads, we're definitely onto something. Even though I didn't manage to get a good look at his face, his physique and the way he moved were identical to the card snatcher I saw last time. I'm sure it's the same guy. He was much more discreet this time, though. I guess he didn't want to risk trying anything with so many potential witnesses around. From the sounds of it, we need to head to Leela next, right? Paimon can't wait! We have tons of friends in Leela, too! But shouldn't we check in with Kaya before we leave? Paimon at least wants to find out who won the final. Good idea. Let's go. Okay, so the event things must be the free... the free tournament. I hereby declare the winner of the Mondstadt Regional Final of the King of Invocations Grand Prix is... Timmy! Wow! Timmy won! That's amazing! <sighs> I 
I was beaten by the best. Timmy's a tough opponent. He had me on the back foot the entire time. <laughs> it's all right. You don't need to comfort me. This must be the journalist from Fontaine you mentioned earlier. Charlotte, was it? Enchanté. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain of the Knights of Favonius. I trust you're enjoying your time in Mondstadt? The pleasure is all mine. Mondstadt's reputation as the city of song and freedom is truly deserved. The mood here is simply delightful. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. Oh, by the way, I couldn't help but notice you all rushing towards the city's side gate earlier. Did you find something? I couldn't get it off my mind, even during the competition. Hmm, I see. So, it seems we have an answer to Kaya's question from earlier. What the card snatcher's really after is these card backs. But we still haven't figured out why he cares so much about them. Hmm. Well, while I'd love to accompany you all to Liyue Harbor, I'm afraid I still have my Knights of Favonius duties to attend to. In fact, our top priority right now is strengthening Mondstadt's defenses. Treasure hoarder activity has been increasingly rampant lately. Don't worry, we'll keep you in the loop if we find anything. In fact, if Charlotte's journalistic instinct is on point, you'll probably be reading her exclusive report in the Steambird before long. Wonderful. Then I look forward to reading all about it. <laughs> Thanks for supporting quality journalism. Okay, let's take tonight off and head to Liyue Harbor tomorrow. It'll give me a chance to write down everything that's happened today. Oh, Paimon wanted to ask. See the two people on this poster? Are they the inventors of Genius Invocation TCG? They look so young. Maybe, but very little is known about either of them. Whether they've been living under a rock this whole time, or just aren't interested in fame, I don't know. But hardly anybody has ever seen them. The poster's probably just an artist's impression to capture the general look and feel of the duo. Beyond that, I doubt it's very true to life. Sounds like they're a couple of socially reclusive scholars. If Paimon were in their shoes, she'd be showing up to all the events, signing autographs, selling cards, and probably getting complimentary food and drink. <laughs> I approve. And to top it off, you could play a few rounds of Genius Invocation with everyone. I was reading up on the game's inventors before I came to Mondstadt. I was originally hoping to arrange an interview with them. But I soon discovered that there's no mention anywhere of where they live or of any Genius Invocation events that they've attended. It's as if they've designed the game and then never played it again. Either they don't want to play the game, or they're unable to. But they must have their reasons. I wonder if they'll show up at all during the King of Invocation's Grand Prix. Maybe, if you get lucky. And based on my experience, the Traveler seems to have no shortage of that. Oh, really? Well, that gives me one less thing to worry about. Anyway, our focus is still on tracking down the Card Snatcher. I heard Snezhnaya has an old saying, if you try chasing two rabbits at once, you'll only end up empty-handed. Well, the Traveler and Paimon can always split up and chase one rabbit each. Oh, okay. Now Paimon's feeling hungry. We can worry about all this later. Right now it's time to get some grub. <laughs> you can always trust Paimon to know where life's priorities lie. If it's food you're after, I recommend taking a look at the nearby stalls. The tournament has brought quite a crowd, so there's a lot of fun to be had around the venue. Alright, part one is complete. That didn't take very long at all. Oh, this must be the, uh... The event. Duel the Summoner Summit. All four unlocked. Heart of the Dice. Oh, they're all unlocked in Mondstadt. Yeah, Mondstadt. Frida. Okay, 
Let's check all of these out this video. And then, uh... Oh, whoa, Mika. Wait, why is everyone leaving? Did I miss it? Ah, Mika. Uh, too bad you weren't here to see it. I'm afraid that Captain Kaya lost. What? Tell me everything. What happened? Well, I don't know much about Genius Invocation myself, but I did try to follow along by listening in to what everyone was saying. Captain Kaya took out one of Timmy's character cards right at the start, giving him an early advantage. But I guess that was all part of his opponent's strategy? In any case, Timmy spent the first few rounds stocking up cards in his hand and then swung the game with a brutal offensive right at the end. <sighs> but, you know... Maybe the match was already over from the moment they flipped the coin and determined that Kai would go second. Whew. I need a drink. Oh, the Calm anime down, bro. Now's not the time to start drinking your sorrows away. Knowing Captain Kaya, he wouldn't want to see you upset over his loss. Hey, why don't we learn how to play too? Maybe then we'll get to play against Captain Kaya someday. <laughs> Though... I'm sure we'd lose pretty badly to him. <sighs> yeah, you're right, Mika. Not a bad plan. Hey there. Something else you wanted to discuss? Don't worry. Everyone's just fine. I actually managed to convince Jean to join me for a game, but we only got part of the way through before she was called away. I ended up having to finish the match for the two of us. Ah, what can you do? Everyone has to put their work first, but seeing how successful the tournament has turned out and how much fun everyone's had, I'm hoping that she at least has one less thing to worry about. The game's really caught on lately. It's a part of everyday life now. Everywhere you go, you see people playing it. In fact, some people have even given up drinking in order to keep a clear head during the game. <laughs> I'm sure Diona will be happy to hear that. Sure. We should have a game of Genius Invocation TCG when you get the chance. Alright, let's see if there's anyone else around. Uh, Timmy. He's the bird kid. I won! I won! Thanks! I can't wait to tell my mom! This'll make her really happy, won't it? Mom was the one who kept telling me I should join the tournament, so I'm going to give the prizes to her. I really wish my dad could see me now. Oh, what an amazing tournament. That Timmy, huh? He really has a gift for this. Yeah, who saw that coming? But at least I can feel a little better about losing to him now. City on the Lake teams with talent in TCG Tournament as young prodigy Bess Favonian Cavalry Captain. Hmm, this title saves face for the Knights, but lacks a little oomph. Top strategic mind of the Knights of Favonius outsmarted by Bridge Boy in five-round failure. Captain's championship hopes crushed in dazzling Dark Horse defeat? <sighs> Maybe I should stick with my first draft. She's a fun character, and they didn't give her to us now? What kind of vision does she have? Hydro. Interesting. All right, let's see what all the events are. What's this? All right. Mechanical painting. Oh, I remember this game. All right. Yeah, 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 this. This is back. The gears. Can you hear that? It's the whispers of the wind. Oh, boy. I know what this is. Ugh. Alright, gear column two. Nope, too big. Nope. It's a large
Mars gear probably goes uh, right here. Okay. Oh boy, we're doing this. Oh. Oh, you can do that? This one. This. No, take it off. Yeah, surface. Swap the surface. The big one may, might not matter. Hold on, reset. You can't move any of these. So our only hope is... Solve the puzzle. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Next puzzle. Bing bada boom. Done and done. A new game designed by the Adventure Guilds. Heart of the Dice. Heart of the Dice Challenge Stages. You will obtain Invocation Dice upon defeating opponents. You store four dice. Upon storing dice, you need to store dice. What? Whoa, it's a combat challenge? stages of combat. Okay, we'll do one of these. And then, um, cast us off, spread, and aggravate.
Okay, who are they giving us? Crit damage. Spread and aggravate. Probably need to do this. So much as that, I want to. Uh, and another dendro. Do we have another dendro? Level 40. Uh, we can always count on Eula. She's pretty dependable. Silver metal. Not bad. We can try that again on my time, not yours. But we'll we'll, we'll see all four mini games before going to leeway. This has been pretty fun so far. Not at all the slog I thought it'd be, but I haven't... I guess I'm disappointed I haven't played any card games yet. Okay, we did the two paintings. Zero hour invocation. Let's 
this deck should be choosing three out of eight pre-made decks. Special rules. First things first. Mint stuff. Yeah. I can obviously score higher, which I'll do. Mechanical things. All right, and then this one, a tour of wonders. Okay. Scenic checkpoint. Claim stamps. Oh, oh here we go, another combat challenge. So there are two paintings in each each event city. Take it easy. Not bad. Continents. All right. Let's check it out. We're headed to Leeway next. And there's one in Inazuma and one in Sumeru. Oh boy, how crazy are these events gonna get when there are way more nations to to travel around. Wild. Cross the bridge.
gotcha. I condemn you. Blood of Frost. Rack and Ruin. I don't want to mess with the paintings, but because we're short on time for this event, we'll just get to the next part. All right, where is it? We're gonna head to Leeway next time. But for now, we're gonna grab the Sumeru one. Is this it? No, it's not it. It's... No. So I think we'll step into Leeway and then next time we'll come back. But we are making good time. I think other than zero hour, which we might have enough time to play one game. Of. Shine 
down. Quietly now. Rack and ruin. Freeze to the core. Should be that. Right? Boom. There's zero hour. This. Leeway one. So yeah, 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 let's uh, oh yeah, zero hour, right, zero hour in monster, so, yeah, and well, hopefully that won't take a long time to play zero hour, and then we can uh, call it for this week, and I'll go recharge and come back, and then uh, I don't know what's next. There's Liwei, Inazuma, Sumeru. Probably in that order. Torchbearer. So you're the one I'll be playing against. It's a real competition this time, so you'd better be ready. I can't believe it's Amber. Cheerful Torchbearer? That makes sense. Alright. Oh, they choose my guys for me too? That sucks. We'll get two charges of energy for all characters. What? Neither player will have to roll elemental dice in the roll phase. Instead, the rolls will be substituted by eight Omni. Oh. Wild. What do we have? We're up against Amber, Barbara, and Klee. Sarah is going to be my lead. And then we'll have two wind guys. The deck is so random. They get to pick their deck. They clearly have what they wanted. But that's okay. Just This is just for fun. Okay, I only need one bow. I don't have a spear character. Wait a minute, is uh, Zhao a spear character? I see a sword character, okay. That's actually... Let's put this back in the deck. Okay, cool. With you all the way. attack when equips a talent, spend one less die. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Pepsi immediately. Just, okay. Took the damage it would have received. You called. You waiting, did I? Ah, she's gonna heal. the child on my side of the field brace yourself Yeah, once one of them dies, their entire thing is gone. <laughs> I'm ending my turn here. Yep, yep, yep. As long as Barbara's here, she's a problem. Do. Okay, here we go. Storm Eye. Huh. Disappear. Yeah. Waiting, did I? All right.
think you can get away? Turns over. Decks are rough. Yep, I knew it. Who's Sarah? With you all the way. Sparks and Oh, no energy. Try to escape. I have it now, but I don't have any elemental. Take the free damage. Strike. I willingly yield. Give me a moment. I've been practicing really hard. Yeah, but they have swirl, so my next move will kill them. And I'll get free energy this round. I'm guaranteed to win. are all jumbled up. All right, in turn. One more turn. Now I have full energy. So that should just be game, right? <laughs> Oh no. Yahoo! Think you can get away? Yeah, this would be it. Here we go. You 
got me. Uh. Okay, zero hours pretty fun. So I guess if they're interesting opponents, I'll show them. But, uh, yeah, that took way too long. But I did keep all three of my characters alive. Still, Amber did uh, practice. She improved a lot, which uh, was scary. Whoa, you're so much better than everyone I've played against. Well, that's it for... Oh, boy. So, anyway, I've spent long enough here. Next time, we'll head to Leeway. But thank you for joining me for more Genshin Impact. And we'll check out the next round of the tournament next time. Catch you later.